Today, we are counting down our picks for the 15 richest and most influential billionaires who've endorsed Trump for the 2024 election. For some, this is their first time getting into politics, and for others, they've done it for years. But all of them have thrown millions of dollars behind the former president. We'll explore who they are, how wealthy they are, and how they're helping Donald Trump's campaign. First on our list at number 15 is billionaire Isaac or Ike Perlmutter. Ike Perlmutter, who was the former chairman of Marvel Entertainment, moved to the US in 1967 with just $250 from Israel and has since grown his riches to an estimated $4.9 billion. Over the years, Ike has long been a friend and a sort of informal advisor for Trump. And in this election, it looks like that isn't changing. In fact, his wife, who is also a Trump supporter, has given more than 20 million to Right for America, which is one of many pro-Trump super PACs. Next on our list, we have Richard and Elizabeth Eiline, who own the packing and shipping company Uline. Together, they are worth a combined $12 billion, but individually, they have half that with $6 billion each. So they find themselves on the 14th spot on our list. When this cycle started, they threw their support behind Ron DeSantis in his presidential bid, where they each gave 1.5 million or 3 million total to never back down, which was one of his super PACs. But when Donald Trump became the confirmed nominee, they each gave $5 million or $10 million total to Trump super PAC MAGA Inc. Prior to Trump though, they have been reliable longtime donors giving to a variety of conservative candidates and causes. And I don't think even in the next election that'll change. Moving on to number 13, we have hedge fund titan Paul Singer, who's worth $6.2 billion. Originally, he backed Nikki Haley in her bid for the presidency, but in total, he has given over $40 million to political groups, including $10 million to each congressional and Senate leadership super PACs. With how politically active he is, it's definitely a good thing for Trump to have him on his side. Next up in the number 12 spot, we have Kelsey Warren, current chairman and former CEO for pipeline company Energy Transfer Partners. As of today, according to Forbes, he has a combined net worth of $6.7 billion. You might also know him for the highly controversial Dakota Access Pipeline, which his company owns. In 2020 and 2016, Warren was a major Trump backer, giving his campaign over $100 million in the former and over $11 million in the latter. When this cycle started, like some of the other people on this list, he was giving money to DeSantis-aligned super PACs, but since then he has given over $6 million to Trump. Besides just giving him money, though, he has hosted campaign events for Trump, with one even bringing in over $15 million. Even though he's lower on this list, he is pretty active, even going as far as to host events. But that pales in comparison to some of those higher up, so be sure to stick around to see what some of these other billionaires are doing. For number 11, we have Jeffrey Hildebrand, the founder and CEO of oil and gas company Hillcorp. Having a net worth estimated around $7.6 billion, he has been very politically active in the conservative sphere. Since this cycle has started, he has donated to Doug Burgum, Nikki Haley, Ron DeSantis, Trump's former VP Mike Pence, Tim Scott, and of course, Trump himself. Hildebrand is a part of a very niche oil and energy tycoon demographic that Trump has directly appealed to in this election with promises of a pro-fossil fuel and anti-regulation presidency. And because of that, he isn't the only one in this industry that gets on this list. More on that later though. In the number 10 spot, we have venture capitalist Douglas Leon, who is worth an estimated $8 billion. Unlike many others on Silicon Valley's right wing who have only recently embraced the GOP, Leon has been giving to Republican candidates for years. Just for reference, while not on this list, fellow venture capitalists David Sachs and Chamath Palihapitiya, as well as Leon's fellow Sequoia partner, Sean McGuire, have endorsed Trump for the first time this election cycle. So it is a growing sect. When this cycle started, he had donated a total of $2 million to a pro DeSantis super PAC, but when it was clear he wouldn't win the nominee, he turned to X to announce his endorsement for Trump, stating his concern for many growing problems in this country. Personally, I don't know who Leon was before the making of this video, but his post was able to get 21.8 million views, so it definitely made some waves. The last person who has a net worth just shy of $10 billion is William or Bill Ackman, the founder and CEO of Pershing Square with $9 billion. He's one of the only billionaires on this list to endorse Trump, but has yet to donate to his campaign. His support, however, marks a notable shift from 2021, where he said that Trump should resign after the events of January 6th. So that really just shows you how popular and how much support Trump is pulling in this election from all corners of the country. Moving into the 11-figure range, we have chairman and CEO of Fertita Entertainment, 
Tillman Fertitta, who is worth an estimated $10.3 billion. He also owns the Houston Rockets, if you're a fan of them. In the political sphere, he has supported Trump both now and in the 2020 election, with his most recent contributions being more than $400,000 to the Trump 47 Committee, Donald J. Trump for President 2024, and to the Save America PAC. And in May, he hosted a fundraiser at his Post Oak Hotel, which Trump attended. In the number seven spot, we have Home Depot co-founder Bernard Marcus, who's worth an estimated $11.5 billion. Marcus is a very early MAGA supporter with donations totaling $5 million in 2016 and $10 million in 2020 to Trump-related super PACs. Funnily enough, this does put him at odds with his fellow co-founder, Arthur Blank, who is a reliable Democratic donor. He and his wife, who were, fun fact, the seventh biggest individual Republican donors in 2020, live in Atlanta, and have also donated vast sums of money to key races. So far in 2024, the 94-year-old and his wife have donated $2.7 million to the Trump campaign. And with his track record, I wouldn't be surprised if that ends up skyrocketing in this last month. Moving into the number six spot, we have Texas-based banker Andrew Beal, who is worth an estimated $12 billion. Before politics, he and Trump were reportedly friends, and now he has been one of the biggest supporters in the past, even going back to his first run for office in 2016, where he said he has the money to fund his pro-Trump super PAC. And yes, he did go on and start the Save America from its government PAC. In 2020, he donated several million dollars to Trump-related super PACs. But in this election, he has apparently donated a whopping $1.8 billion. With all this support coming from Beal alone, Trump is definitely lucky to have him. Right before we hit the $20 billion plus people, we have oil and gas magnate Harold Hamm, who's worth an estimated $18.5 billion. In 2022, he said that Republican, Democrat, I'm an oilocrat. Overall, though, especially in this election, he has supported many Republicans with a couple thousands going to DeSantis and Haley. And prior to Trump being the nominee, apparently he had told Trump to end his campaign, citing the chaos it could cause. But since then, he has donated almost a million to Trump and has endorsed him. With only four billionaires remaining, this is where net worth and influence will start to skyrocket. In the number four spot, we have America's richest self-made woman, Diane Hendricks. She is a former Playboy bunny who co-founded ABC Supply, a building materials company, and is now estimated to have a net worth of $21.9 billion. In politics, though, she is a regular Republican donor, even serving on one of Trump's fundraising committees as vice chair in 2016. This cycle, she donated almost $16 million to pro-Trump super PACs and committees and total she has donated about $844.6 million to the Trump 47 committee. Next up in number three, we have the widow of casino mogul Sheldon Adelson, Miriam Adelson, who is estimated to be worth about $34.8 billion. Her and her husband, before he passed in 2021, have been longtime Republican mega donors, with Trump getting over $120 million in 2020. In total, in that election, they had donated a combined $220 million to Trump, as well as other Republican candidates and causes. Her husband also had received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from Trump. So that just shows you how connected and how important they are as supporters. Even though her husband has passed, she is still bringing back her Preserving America Super PAC and is planning on donating over $90 million. I wouldn't be surprised if she ends up donating more given her overall net worth, as well as the importance of this election. But regardless, I'm sure that 90 million is enough, especially given how well Trump is doing right now in the polls. For number two, we have Blackstone chairman and CEO, Stephen Schwartzman, who is worth an estimated $45.1 billion. Looking at his most recent net worth update, he has apparently lost $230 million, which is just 0.51% of his total wealth. Not important at all to politics, but it's funny just how much money he really has. After the 2022 midterms, he said the Republican Party needed a new generation of leaders, hinting that he didn't think Trump should be the nominee in this election. But since then, he has stated that the dramatic rise of anti-Semitism has led me to focus on the consequences of upcoming elections with greater urgency and has since thrown his support as well as millions of dollars behind Trump. And finally, in the number one spot, one of the richest and most powerful men in the world by far, as I'm sure you could have guessed, Elon Musk, owner of X, CEO of Tesla, CEO of SpaceX, CEO of XAI, 
and the richest man in the world, according to Forbes, with an estimated net worth of about $258.9 billion. Musk, who usually leaned to the left and wasn't ever really politically active, announced his endorsement for Trump right after the events that took place in Pennsylvania in July, where it was also reported he would be donating a huge sum of $45 million per month to his campaign. The actual amount that he is donating isn't disclosed, but if you just look at his X account, he is very active on there and very vocal about his support for Trump even going so far as to have a profile picture of him with a MAGA hat on and a bio that redirects people to a pro-Trump super PAC. Out of all these billionaires, given Musk's influence online as well as his huge sum of money, I think it's safe to say that he is giving Trump the most amount of support. But it isn't a competition since all of the people on this list are fighting for a common cause. But what do you think will happen? Will their support be enough to get him reelected? Did any of these people surprise you? Let us know in the comments.